Hey, it's Lori Gataldo hanging out in my car. Welcome. Uh, I had to do a special video for you today because today is the day Starbucks unveiled unicorn frappuccino. So obviously I had to try it. Um, it's totally Instagram worthy. And my original thought is that this drink is going to be all about the looks and not so much about the taste, but I had to find out for myself. So what this drink is, it does not have coffee in it. Uh, it is a cream frappuccino base. So basically think dairy base. Uh, and then they put mango syrup in it and the blue in it is actually a white chocolate drizzle mixed with some other stuff like food coloring, obviously, and also sour mix so that when you swirl it together, you kind of get a little bit of a fruity, creamy, sour taste all together. So uh, I have to tell you, it is pretty. Um, I guess it looks like that unicorn food trend that everything else looks like, like unicorn toast and unicorn macaroons and lattes and everything else. Um, so it is super pretty, but as for the taste, we're gonna give it a go. Are you ready? Oh, it's interesting. Um, it's definitely creamy and it does have a, a fruit forward flavor. I don't know that I would know that it was mango unless I knew in advance. It doesn't really taste specifically mango-y more so like, you know what this tastes like? Remember Fruit Strike gum? That was, that's what this reminds me of, with like a little bit of like a creamy feel to it on the back end. And I haven't really gotten that sourness to it. Oh, a little. Oh, it's weird. It's a weird drink. I don't hate it. I actually thought that I was gonna hate this a lot and think it was disgusting. It's very sweet. Although if you're drinking something called a unicorn frappuccino, of course it's gonna be sweet. I don't get as much of the sourness as I thought that I would. Um, and I'm not even gonna talk about the calorie count on this bad boy because if you're getting a frappuccino at all, you're not concerned about health. And obviously the amount of sugar in this is enough to last you for a month. So, I mean, I would say for the most part, it's totally Insta-worthy. Um, it's cool and it does kind of change color as you stir it and drink it. It goes from like pink and then the pink blends with the blue so you get the purple. It's pretty. Does it taste like unicorn? Sure. What does unicorn taste like? I don't know. I, I don't hate it. I don't know if I'd get it again and luckily I didn't have to pay for this one because I used my app and I had free stars. So free unicorn drink. But um, all right. So that's my review. It's available for four days. If you feel so inclined go pick it up. Let me know what you think. I don't know. I don't taste mango or sour. I just kind of taste sugar. So um, that's my review. The Unicorn Frappuccino. I'll check you out next time.